that the son of this day. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. That the son of this day. His Royal Majesty Oba Saburi Babadide Bakri was born on the 22nd of June 1960 in the then capital of Western Region, Ibadan, to the family of Prince Olayinka Bakri, also known as Baba Crown and Princess Alaja Latifat Bakri. Oba Saburi Babadide Ishola Bakri is my nephew. His mother was very close to me when she got married to my brother in 1953. I was very close to her. And Jide, that's Kabisi, being her first male child, had been very close to me from youth since I came back from Britain. When he was young and was able to talk, he had a son. When they say, then Jerry Johnson was a popular footballer and he was young, you see. And they say, Jerry Johnson, he will say, why Sherry, why Sherry, the father of them all. He used to say that, and being an Oba now, obviously, he has become the father of them all. He's a very, um, as his name implies, his name is Saburi. I'm told, because I'm a Christian, he's Muslim, I'm told that Saburi means patience. So it's uh, ironic, you know, names matter a lot because he seems seemingly one of the most patient person I've uh, come across in my entire life. He's extremely patient and I think he's befitting of a, a royal father. <laughs> I had a pay on Shabioba and to report Colorado to River Baji Day, Lunge, the center of my back by day, two in the morning. We are called our loan. It's the best thing to happen to Bagura Nation for some time now. From all indications, it's a semblance of his father. He um, had a very good synergy with um, many of the ships. He will do anything to ensure that unity and development of Bagura land. And I like him for one thing. He is a very amiable person. My dad, Prince Razak Adiola Olayinka Bakri, and my mom, Alaja Latifat. And dignity. They are both from Bagura here. They are late too, so they are gone. But they are wonderful people. I remember I saw the picture when they were getting married. I think they got married at uh, St. Nari Hall. That was in 1952. That was when they got married. That time I brought my Patana parents. I think they got very close together through Ansarudin. They brought Ansarudin to Ibadan that time. And it was the their relationship that both of them decided to give their first daughter and their first son in marriage. Then later in life, after marriage, my father worked with railways. After that, he went to England for a long time. Then came back home and decided that he wants to be in Abekuta here. Then that's why he created it. He, he, he made the game. Try to have a structure, I have a business here. That's how Crown Royal Hotel was born. Kabiesi had his primary education in Ibadan, while his secondary education was in a black comprehensive high school, Asheru Abelkuta. We grew up together. Primary school days, secondary school, polytechnic, before I left for Port Harcourt in 1988. He's a very easy going man. He loves sincerity. If he's white, let, let him know he's white. That's the type of person he is. Apart from Papa Jide, that his university and um, polytechnic friends, colleagues gave to him, we, the close ones, we used to call him Suru to Father. I got to know him in the secondary school days. 
in 70, I think 70 or 71, to be precise, he met me in that school, Edba High School. Well, luckily, we are in the same hostel, although he met me in the school. When he came to the school, luckily enough, we are staying, we are staying in the same dormitory. We are sharing the same bed. You know, then we used to have this double-decker bed. He, he was staying down while I'm up. I pick up interest in him then because an easy-going person. I call him mascot. That was the nickname I gave to him in that school then because he's a gentle person. Oba Baba Jide Shola Bake has been a long-standing friend of mine. And uh, quite an Azumi, intelligent, and very humble. Um, we are lucky in Bagura that through the Afrobades, God endowed us that kind of a person. Uh, and I'm sure that it's going to be more beneficial to the people of Bagura in particular and Eba in general. And of course, it's easy for you to be a team, but when you are a team player, than be uh, a lone player. But because he's a team player, it's easy for him. Both old and young readily accept him. To get to the secondary school, the mother had to come and because my brother was in England and I had to come back. We had to try to get into secondary school. He passed the entrance to two places. Eventually, he ended up going to Egbea High School in Abeokuta here. After his secondary education, Oba Saburi Bakri proceeded to Ogun State Polytechnic, now Moshut Abiola Polytechnic, Abeokuta. At the Polytechnic, he was a member of the prestigious gentleman's club. Kadi is a fantastic man. He's a man of the people. From his youth, he's always happy when people are around him. He wants people to be around him. When he was primary school, people should be around him. Will be around him. When he was in secondary school at a bar compressive high school, always people are always around him. When he was at Ogupuli. Even the former governor, they were all living in my father's house. They were all there. All his friends, they were all there. In one room, we see about 10, 15 people in the room. He's always happy when people is always with him. When he was in Polytechnic, he, he was in a group with the Bukula Musuji Men's Club. He, he's, he's a goal getter. He wants certain things done. He wants it achieved within the framework of time. When they enter the PB, you see a different day. Initially, when people come to the PB to see him, they say, ah, Jai, ah, are you people crazy? No Jai here again, no. You have a by left here. Kabesi, you are no Jide. You are Kabesi, Baba Jide, Ishola, Bakri. He loved football. He couldn't play well, but he loved it. He played a lot of table tennis himself. And when he left school, the secondary school, the mother ran to me again. And good thing at that time, it was your result that they will take you in the polytechnic. So I spoke to the director of the polytechnic and he was admitted for business studies. KPSC thereafter joined the Nigeria Customs Service after the compulsory National Youth Service Program. We've been together for over 25 years now. Of course, we came together through the work. We met at the workplace. Uh, that time, I was, I was at Wari. Then he got transferred there too. From there, I think, because he's a likable personality. He has a way of warming up to people. So, of course, he warmed up to me immediately. And, of course, you have to reveal our identity. And uh, it, was, it was busy that. It was from, uh, it's from Aviokuta, and from Aviokuta too. So I told him that, uh, for, so, and he told me about his dad, and in fact, the dad happened to have been in the customs there before. He's, he was always dedicated to any assignment given to him. In fact, people tag him and say that uh, they are, these, are, uh, these are Taylor boys, 
Um, once in a while they hear go, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't hear come again, except they, 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 they receive instruction. I knew him when he was still an officer with the Nigerian customs. And uh, he is a very social person. He likes people to be around him. You know, some people are, they enjoy their own company. But KBAC is the opposite. He likes people around him. He's very social. Call him a gregarious person and you won't be wrong. Sometimes I wonder if he had been or if he chose to be a politician, it would be so difficult to, de to defeat him because he's a man of the people. His father had worked in customs, so he spoke to his friends there and was admitted. He was taken as one of the trainee officers in customs. And I think he rose to be a director also before he became the Oba. It was nice. It was one of the lucky few, but not so lucky, I thank God. After training, I joined Customs 1988. I trained at Ikeja. After training, I know the commandant of that school that time, there's a memory, Mr. Udumoso, whatever, happens to be my father's mate in custom. My father worked with the custom too, before he retired. So he asked my father, where will I be posted? Where, where I will be posted? The man asked me, I said, I want to go to Papa, I want to go to, go to the Tinkan or whatever. But my father told the man, no, that the woman to learn how to crawl before I walk. He said, they should post me to Joss. So my first year in custom, after training, I was in Joss for four years, Plateau State. From there, I went one of my good friends, old friend, a senior friend, in custom, said, ah, he came to Joss to do something, ah, and he was resting up that time. Say, ah, back you are still here. So I'm still here. I said, don't worry. I don't want to go. But don't mention Papa. Don't mention Tim Kano. That's no good area. I understand too. It's for those powerful, very, very powerful people. I said, anywhere. Just bring me home. Let me be in another state. So I was prepared to go state. That was how I was at Indiroko for four years. From Indiroko again, Delta. You know, custom as this. I was in worry for a long time. From worry, Benue, Benue State. Makodi. From Makodi. And to think on. That's why I was in a little bit, a little bit of breathing space. Hey, a lot of difference. Though. This is tradition. That one is military, paramilitary, or whatever. A lot of difference. That time is force, 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 force. You carry gun, you shout a smuggler, you jump here, you jump here. You harass people, people harass you. Though you are civil servant, a public servant, but then. You are upholding the law of the country. But here, the throne, you are with your people now. It's substitute. It's pure substitute. You have to do, try as much as possible to do the wish of your people. Even if it's not what you wish to do. Because it's those days that they say about Baluri and Gugbu, no, it's not that. It's not good like that. I don't think it's right. I think that three, four heads is far better than one. It's really elders that are know the tradition more than you. I wasn't from that background. When I have people like Baba Bayi Omi, and now people like my uncle, Justice Bakri, when I have Balogun Kukudi, Balogun Burinti, all those elderly elders, Kolo Sho, Dr. Dou, Balogun Owe, and people like Bode Mustafa. Oh, all those powerful, powerful people in Bagura that have no tradition, they are ready to put me through. They have about Tonda. I'm a good listener. I'm a very good student. I'm saying to them. Because I can't just, you can't just jump into one tradition, jump into one environment, I think you understand. No. When I see the way they do it and all that stuff, it's from the time I was at it, maybe just learning or not. Almost every day I learn things. But the most important thing is that. They are your people. You must listen to them. You must listen to them. First thing I told them when I got to this throne is that nobody in Bagurada must tell anybody to court. That's from past experience. Because my father always tell me, my uncle to Justice Bakri, retired now, always tell me. But in the court, the judge case, at home, the settle case. 
no matter how bad it is, we still have elders here. When you have problem in your area, take it to your Balogun, the head of that area. If you can't solve it, then bring it to the palace. Elders will sit down, rally around, solve it amicably. The both parties will be happy. Instead of you going to a police station or going to a court and waste money and stuff like that. If you are doing all that, you will never be friends again. You can't take me to court and see me the following day and say we are friends. It's not possible. But if we settle this time amicably, today you may win, tomorrow I may win. We, we use hands to watch the left to hand that so that the hand will be clean. That's my first principle here. That everybody, everybody should trust me as people, be his brother's keeper. Oba Saburi Bakri is a good family man. His journey into marriage is somehow interesting, even though he eventually got married to a beautiful young woman who eventually became Olori of the Agora. He is a very good family man because he married late. He didn't get married in time, but after marriage, he's been so nice to his family and to all of the extended family too. While in custom, he still enjoy the the small boy's uh, life. So much that he didn't get married until 40. When you are much on the road, you don't like to settle down. So he never wanted to settle down. A bit more before he could even get married. So it was much of a uh, appeal that made him eventually a married man at 40. So he married just 20 years ago. Can you imagine that? I'm one of, I'm one of those, those very few people in this world that don't actually believe in marriage. It's like I was forced to get married. Because I remember all those days, all my friends, all the girls they were dating, seriously in love with each other. Then by the time this little woman gets to be the wife, they change. Quiet, good person will change. I don't know whether it's the fault of the husband or the problem of the wife, but all I want is all that we hear later is that, ah, this one did this, ah, do you did that, Joaka did that, I want a divorce, I'm tired of this thing, I want to work out. I say, ah, we thought that serious love when we were at school. Ah, I don't really know, I don't actually know. So I refused to get married. There's not too controversial within my family that I don't want to get married. My immediate junior brother, for so that I mean, for eight years, Robert Bakri, got married. My Lord Justice Bakri, cousin Demala, Ahmed, got married. All the junior, all of them, yesterday, got married. I say, ah, chef, you marry me. I say, leave me alone. I say, if I get married, are you going to feed the girl for me? Even sometimes I get so rude with my uncle. I say, ah, hey, brother, they talk to my father. My father is the elders of the family. Brother, I marry me. Excuse me. If I get married today, are you going to feed her for me? Please. But eventually I got hooked. When I was at Idoroko, a friend of mine, one outside, uh, one outside man, girlfriend came to visit him and he came with one a lady who happens to be my wife today. Pretty young woman. He just entering um, federal police around that time, OND, first year. Maybe they are just strolling about him. Um, I met her in Dated for six years. At last, I got hooked. Thank God for that. And we are blessed with children. I see free 25. Thank God I'm not that fat. I'm not fat at all anyway. I'm healthy. I worship God. I fear God. I respect fellow human beings. I don't go out of my way to hurt anybody. I have one principle since I was young. Before you pinch this man, first pinch yourself. See how painful it is. I will never ever deliberately go out of my way to hurt anybody. I don't believe in that. It's not possible for me to make the whole world happy, but I try not to. And one of my major points is that if you have any cause to come to my house crying, by the grace of God, when you are leaving, you smile. That's my principle of life. My husband of almost 20 years, oh, let me say maybe 24 years, because we met uh, in 1996. KBSA is a wonderful husband, very, very loving husband. My husband is generous to a fault. He's, uh, he's warm, he's kind, he's honest. My husband is straight. My husband is like this. 
So, and one thing I really cherish is my, in my husband that is that he really, really loves his children and everybody around him. KBC is a wonderful man. Um, KBC is a very generous man, cares for his family, and he relates with us very well. And he gives, like, he's, he's just a very nice person. He sees reason to anything you're asking for. If, if you're asking for something and he doesn't see reason to it, he won't do it. But if he sees reason to it, no matter what it is, he will. He's a very caring man. He's someone that listens to what his children will have to say. He won't just go straight to the point. He will hear what his children will have to say about something before he goes straight to the point. So he's a very caring man and he's a very generous man. He has been the person to always support me. If I had a fight with my mom, he always stopped my mom from beating me if I did something bad. He always bought everything I wanted for me. He was, he's really nice, very compassionate. He's, he has never been someone to be selfish. He always gives out to people no matter what. He's very free-spirited. He's, he's not like a lot of strict parents. He, he plays, he, he makes people laugh. If you're around him, you you always be happy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy see. Happy birthday to you. Oba Saburi Babajide Bakri is 60 years on the planet Earth, and here is wishing him 60 hearty cheers. Uh, the happy birthday we want to wish the Kabisi is cannot even be a personal one. I want to say that all sons and daughters of Gagura nation wish him all the best. The Gagura people wish him very successful birthday celebration. I wish our KBC a long life, good health and happiness. Congratulations, sir. I want to wish him long life and prosperity, good health, and Kabiesi and the wife, the investment they have on their children, on their home, God should give them the, the, the uh, peace of mind, the long life to enjoy the investment. I pray to God to give him long life on his throne as a grove Bagura. There's no way you can do without um, um, Kantakoros people. But the Almighty will give him the wisdom to navigate all that to a very good ending. I wish him many, many more years, you see, to be so aged on the throne. You see, that's it. And of course, I want him to continue to apply wisdom because it's not very easy. You see, when you are even on the throne, particularly, well, not even anywhere, but particularly in Nebula, they go and serve their own peculiarities. So we must be able to fit in well. We pray that he will spend very, very old age on that throne. That is granting him long life. We wish his family health, prosperity also. And we wish him well. And we wish that during his tenure and his reign, Bagura will be transformed into the Bagura of his dream. Long life and the wisdom to preside over every matter that comes around. That's the major thing. The wisdom to handle everything. That's what I'm wishing him right now. Pray that at 60, he begins to enjoy the fruits of his life 
and he has lived up to 60. He has laid a very solid foundation. He has a wonderful family, a beautiful wife, Olori, um, lovely kids. I pray that he, he grows in wisdom as he matures on the throne, being that this is the first year he's been on the throne of the Agora, of Bagora. I pray that uh, his reign will be blessed with a lot of good uh, wishes for the kingdom of Bagura and the residents and both in diaspora and at home. I pray that his reign will bring a lot of uh, good goodness and well wishes for all individuals. Congratulations my dear brother. God bless you. God will up uphold you. The Holy Spirit of God will continue to guide you. Oh Niti, oh Nisha. Are you in the Conway? Go go to Bada Oli, I'm a Yori Siri. That's a good say, Lubagura. I'm a tour. I wish him more beautiful years on her. I wish him long life. I wish him all the beautiful things on her. In good health, that is the most important thing. In good health, that is all I pray for. So that I can be the father of his children for a long, long, long time. I wish him long life, happiness joy, prosperity, mercy, and a happy life. I pray God grants him long life and prosperity, and I pray he keeps on taking care of us, and his love for the family gets stronger. I pray that as he clocks 60 years old this year, that he gets to fulfill many of his wishes, because I know he has a lot of wishes for himself, for his family, and I pray he gets to fulfill all those wishes. I wish you long life and prosperity. He's been doing his best, and I pray that he will continue to do it all the time. 60 is just the beginning of life. To God be all the glory. Yeah.